Hello guys, this is the Star Wars Collector back here for another video, and today I'm going to be opening the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, 87 series Punk Disguise Turtles, and I got these on Friday, currently is Easter Sunday, so happy Easter to all of you guys who are watching this. This is going to be uploaded today, uh, but... I knew these were coming out on Friday, and so I went to Target, and they had two of them, and I ended up grabbing this one. Uh, main reason was the other one, uh, Michelangelo's teeth were messed up on that one, but this one looks pretty good, so I grabbed this one. Also, luckily enough, this one was the better box. The other box was damaged, so I lucked out. Uh, and I was going to open this yesterday, but... I just didn't end up getting to open it, so now it's Sunday, and I'm going to open it now and upload this video shortly after I open it. Uh, let's show the box. You guys are kind of used to, like, if you've seen the NECA TMNT 87 line, you would see that they're kind of all very similar boxes. You got the yellow on the bottom, and you got the green on the top. Uh, right there has like shell and then Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the iconic logo let's flip it around on the back it shows this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles I'm gonna just set it down for real quickly uh, punk disguise turtles basically it always says the same thing right here always says the same descript description uh, then collect them all these are some upcoming uh, Things that are also coming out same time for 2024 holothon uh, you got this two pack of michelangelo and donatello which is pretty cool you got the space usagi and you got this business suit casey jones and a foot soldier split uh, and then here are some of the back like photos just kind of got them all just walking uh, you got them carrying some groceries uh, here's a picture with their alternate heads, and then here's Michelangelo smiling, like jumping on a garbage can, and he's holding his skateboard. Uh, the other um, figure I found when I went there, they had Kirby the from the comic line, uh, the Mirage line, and I saw that it was cool, but I know that's not going to be like a sellout. That's not going to be too hard to find. The turtles are always going to be the hardest ones to find. As you guys can see, I uh, grabbed my Ninja Turtles out of, uh, like, I when I did the accessory set video, I couldn't grab the turtles out, but I grabbed them out for this video so we can do a comparison, and it's hard to find the turtles. I have been collecting the line, like, NECA turtles for, like, two years now, and it took me a while to get the turtles, the cartoon turtles. And then the movie ones took a long time to find as well. Always, the turtles are always going to be the hardest ones to find. And when I saw this, I knew I wasn't passing it up. Because these are going to be hard to find, like any Ninja Turtle out of these NECA figures. And then let me show you the sides real quickly. Uh, you got Leo, Mikey, sorry that's dark. And then right here, you've got, uh, what? Oh, okay, you got Donnie, and then you got Raph. And these are based on an episode where um, Usagi Yojimbo appears, the rabbit, which this would have been actually a good episode to do to celebrate Easter, but this is going to be uh, a video in the future. Uh, we'll see. Eventually, I'll open this. But I just wanted to show that. Uh, they wore this in an episode with Usagi Yojimbo, and he was wearing, like, a little cloak thingy there, like, trying to act, like, all in disguise, which these turtles always were wearing different, like, little disguises, such as, uh, their, like, trench coats that they would wear. You can see Mikey still has his pants on. Uh, but these ones are cool, something different, and they did have, um... So I'm pretty sure these are based on Season 3. I am pretty for sure they were something similar to this in Season 2, but it was a little different. And overall, I think these ones look pretty cool. I saw the picture um, with Usagi Yojimbo, and I see like 
these are clearly based on that image and based on that episode. And I don't know, these are just pretty cool looking like turtles. Uh, I really like the artwork like right here. We got Donnie, Raph, Leo, and Mikey, Punk Disguised Turtles. I think that's pretty cool. But I think uh, I kind of showed you guys all of the package. Let me show you the bottom real quickly as well. Here's everyone involved with these toys. 2023, Viacom, NECA, Real Toys. Here's the barcode if any of you guys need that. If it will focus. There you go. And yeah, I think that's all for the packaging. Let's get into these and open them and show you the figures. And we'll do some comparisons with these uh, trench coat disguise turtles. And yeah, I'm going to open these and show you all of them out of the package. My least favorite part of doing these uh, NECA unboxings is opening the figures. They have so many of these little uh, little things to hold them. It is just crazy. But at least you know they're not going to get damaged in the packaging. That's pretty good. But man, these take a long time to open. Okay, before we get into, figure, into the figures, I'm going to show you the background. Uh, and these are always the same for the NECA um, cartoon line. It shows basically the little, like, close to the sewer. And I'm pretty sure um, this has been seen in the cartoon multiple times. Uh, I think so. I can't, like, guarantee it. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've watched the 87 cartoon, but... This is just what NECA always uses for their 87 line. And then let's get into the figures uh, and the accessories. I'll start off with the figures and then I'll show you the accessories. Okay, let's start off with Donatillo. And this is a really cool looking figure. I've been kind of looking at these a little bit off camera for the past like couple of minutes and Donnie looks awesome. I love the brown jacket with the white, like, uh, I don't even know what to call it. The, like, it's pretty soft material. Almost feels like a, like fur almost. But yeah, that's pretty cool. He's got this, like, grin, which Donnie, uh, Raph, and Leo all have the same face. It's just this grin. And you can see their glasses. I, w I did look under there. I didn't like pull the glasses because I'm not trying to break it. But you can see eyes back there. Uh, here's the back. It's got some like lines, which is pretty cool. Uh, his jacket, as you guys can see, is like zipped all the way like down to here. So you can see like his, the front part of his, I don't even know what you'd call it, a shell technically. Uh the front part of the shell, I guess. Uh, he's got the purple, like, arm and li uh, knee, like, sleeves. Uh, then you've got the purple shoes, which all these turtles have shoes on. So that's something different. We're used to uh, having just their, like, feet. But these ones got shoes on, which are pretty cool. And as you guys can see, he's kind of looking to the side. Now this, the only problem I have with my Donnie is his head's very loose, as you guys can see. Like, let me see if I can... I don't know, it's just his head is very loose. I don't know why. All the other turtles don't have this problem, but Donnie's is just very loose. But that's... I don't know. Other than that, this is a really good figure. Uh, these are a little difficult to stand, but if you can get it... You'll be able to, once you figure out, you should be able to get them to stand. Uh, so yeah, there's Donnie standing. And yeah, let's show um, his accessories now. Okay, here's Donnie's other pair of hands. And they're kind of just like these, almost like high five or just, just kind of like just your hand like this. Uh, and then here is his other head and that is a really nice looking head uh it looks really cool 
uh, right there looks really good. And then on this side, you guys can see the paint kind of chipped a little bit right there. But it's not too bad. At least it's like, at least the face looks good. It's just this little thing, which isn't too bad. It's a little upsetting, but I don't know. This is a nice looking face. Uh, both are pretty good. Um, different alternate heads. Uh, I don't know. Some people might have a hard choice on which one to pick. Uh, because both are really good. Uh, I'll probably just stick with this one. But we'll see. This one's not as loose, which is good. So that's something. And yeah, there's Donnie. Let's do a little comparison with the uh, Turtles in Disguise 4 pack Donnie. And yeah. They're the same height, pretty much. Uh, you can see, like, the legs are probably the same. Not the feet, though. Uh, and then the hands are probably... The, yeah, see, these hands right here are probably this. A little bit different color, as you guys can see. These are a darker green. And I just dropped that. Nice. But, yeah, so that's a little comparison. Let me put on... Donnie's original head now. Okay, and now here is both with uh, with this original head and this one. Uh, I think both are pretty cool. Uh, now, not every, uh, like a casual Ninja Turtle fan won't have to get these, but if you're a huge Ninja Turtle fan, I recommend getting these. And these are going to be for the diehard fans because also while releasing this four pack they're releasing these turtles again in solo like just thirty dollar packs and you get a bunch of like little accessories and stuff and yeah but i don't know it's pretty cool to see the comparison uh now let's move on to raf okay here's raf and he looks just amazing the jacket's awesome brown jacket fully zipped up uh let me can i focus on the face there you go i think that's kind of showing it uh on the back he's kind of got all these little like sparkles which go to the front to the back which is pretty cool uh i kind of got him in like a brawling pose it kind of seems uh, same thing with Donnie, all basically the same, uh, just the jacket's different, the face is the same, uh, and then you've got the red shoes, uh, and then here's the back, which I think I already showed you, kind of, you can see those lines as well, pretty cool, and then for Raph, he comes with, uh, additional, uh, pair of hands, which are some, like, kind of, like, holding something hands, almost, uh, you might be able to fit the size in this one, which is odd because none of their weapons are in this. That's my main thing I'd say that's weird about this set. How do you do a Turtles, like, four-pack and they don't have their weapons? And all this cool, like, accessories are cool. And the additional heads and the, like, the additional pair of hands. But where are their weapons? That's the only thing I'm wondering with this set. Kind of odd. Uh, but Raph looks pretty cool. Uh, let's grab this Raph now. Currently, this Raph's kind of got an odd expression. He's kind of got like a scared look, which this Raph normally wasn't scared, but I don't know. Uh, here's the little comparison. Pretty cool. You can see the color of the green's a little bit different for all of these turtles, which is interesting. These ones are a little bit darker. And then now I'm going to throw on this head onto this one okay i was trying to get his alternate head on but i couldn't do it i don't want to break him so i'm not going to do it right now i'm going to just show you this which is kind of like a angry looking face and then the cool thing about this all of their alternate heads are the ones where you can take the like top off so if you push if i can get it uh, I almost got it. Basically, all their alternate heads, you can push the top off of me. I'm going to do this weird camera angle because why not for right now? 
and basically all you gotta do is push, push, and now I'm struggling to get it. There you go. So basically, all of their alternate heads, the top of their head can come off. And so if you wanted to, you could put these eyes on this like scared expression, which doesn't really make sense, but you could if you wanted to. And then you got just this kind of like angry look kind of. But yeah, that's Raph and that's his alternate head and his additional hands and then the comparison of those two. Now let's move on to Leonardo. Okay, here's Leo and this one looks really good. I really like his jacket. Uh, I don't know. Um, the black just looks awesome. And I basically said the same thing on Raph and Donnie. But the jackets on these guys just look awesome. I really like the black. It, to me, it looks like a black leather jacket. He's got the same face expression as the other uh, two that we showed. Just got the blue glasses. And you see he's got the blue shoes. The only thing wrong with uh, my Leonardo, and it's not really wrong it's just his legs are a little loose but that's not too bad uh just a little difficult to get him stand but you guys can see right now i got him standing perfectly fine let's turn him around now he has no lines because it's just it's black so you're not going to see any black lines on this one but that's pretty cool uh but yeah that's leo and you can see on his uh by his arms he's got like kind of like leather or like I don't even know what to call it, but little like gray dots. Then you can see his thing zipped all the way, pretty much. He's got a little bit open in the front, a little bit. And yeah, Leo looks great. Really like how Leo turned out. And let me do a little comparison with the uh, In Disguise Leo and as you guys can see, just the green's darker, and then I'm pretty for sure mine are the glossy uh, faces, and then this is the matte finish. So you can see a difference on them. But yeah, definitely a darker green on these ones. Not by too much, but a little bit. And I'm pretty sure for the Turtles in Disguise um, 4-pack, uh, basically all of their bodies were kind of a glossy finish but there's two different heads you could get you could get the glossy heads or the matte finish heads i have another set of them and they're still sealed so i'm not for sure which ones those are i'm gonna have to take a look at those eventually maybe a future video but yeah just something interesting to look at and then let me show you leo's um other head pretty cool uh, I like the face that he's doing. The teeth are cool, so that would be something nice. You could take this part off and use those teeth on like a, on like those eyes. That would look kind of cool. Kind of like an angry look. I really like that, um, this part. And then this is cool. I'm not going to attempt to put it, this on his head because, uh, I don't know, I'm going to just show you guys the head. Uh, and then he comes with these like pointing hands almost. And yeah, that's basically all for Leonardo and overall a really good one. Next, we got Michelangelo, the final turtle. Okay, here's Michelangelo. And for me, he was the most difficult to get standing up. I'm going to have to mess around with uh, this figure a little bit more to see if I can get it to stand better. But... I don't know the expression on him. I really like the like smile. That's really nice. I would have liked to also seen. I could see Raph doing that smile as well. So if anyone makes like a custom, and then just paints the glasses red, that'd be pretty cool. Because I could see Raph doing this as well. He's got a gray jacket, which out of the three is my least favorite color of the like four turtles jackets. Uh, I really like this. His thing stops right here and so you can see his m on his uh like his m initial which is pretty cool uh i do like this little thing on his jacket that's pretty cool he got the little like spikes which is cool he's got a black line two black lines right there and then as you guys oh wonderful <laughs> i just dropped him nice uh he's got like the 
Oh, I hope I didn't. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a look. Uh, he's got the orange shoes, uh, which are pretty cool. I don't know. Overall, Michelangelo is pretty cool. I do have one thing I want to mention on mine, which kind of sucks. It's nothing too major, but I notice it. It's this like little spot, and I'm not sure if it's white paint or glue. It's one of the two, and I don't like it. I might see what I can do to uh, get it just where it's green. But that's my only thing, really, complaint on Mikey, other than it's just a little struggle to get him to stand. But I might be able to fix that. I'm trying to work on that. But mainly, it's just that little paint spot or glue spot, one of the two. But yeah, Mikey's pretty cool. And let's show his other uh, accessories. He comes with this additional head which is really cool i don't know what this thing is on top of his head but it just looks pretty cool just a cool like expression for mikey i really like this one it's probably my favorite of the additional heads and then he comes up with these like thumbs up hands which are pretty cool and yeah now i showed you oh i gotta show the comparison so here's michelangelo with this michelangelo and basically the same thing just a little different green color, but just pretty cool to see both of these. Uh, as you guys can see, my Michelangelo, the in disguise one, still has his pants on. That's it, though. <laughs> and his nunchucks are in between his, like, shell thing. But, yeah, that's that. And now I'm going to show you all of their other accessories other than, like, their character, um, like... All of these ones I showed you where they're like character specific. All these next accessories I show are basically for everyone to use. So let's move on to that. First off, they've got a pizza and it's got pepperoni, uh, mushrooms, olives, and then I'm not for sure what the yellow things are, but you got a pizza and they always have, they've had so many pizzas they made and it's essential because the turtles are always eating pizza. So that's nice, a nice just little accessory. Uh, yeah. Next up, they've got the skateboard, which is pretty cool. You can never have too many skateboards for the Ninja Turtles. The uh, In Disguise, the trench coat ones, they came with a skateboard as well. So that's pretty cool. And it can spin, as you guys can see. Yeah. Next up, we've got a boom box. And I'm not for sure if everyone's does this, but mine like rattles. I'm not for sure if that's supposed to do that or not, but I don't know, kind of cool. Next up, they've got this little gun, and I'm not completely for sure what this episode's from, but I can tell you it's probably from an episode. Uh, I'm not for sure what. I'm not sure if the turtles used it or... Uh, I just dropped it. I'm not sure if the turtles use it or if the bad guys, but it's a cool little uh, accessory, and it's got a little star right there. Next up, they've got this little robot, which is pretty cool. And uh, this might be like a little toy. It's probably from like a movie they watched. And then finally, I really like this one. You've got some grocery bags. And I feel like these are definitely something they needed in the line. Because I remember in the first episode of season two, Michelangelo and Leonardo are leaving the grocery store. And then there's like these thieves there. So they have to stop them. So I think that's a cool little thing to add. And yeah, I think that's everything for the accessories and the turtles. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, have a good Easter to everyone. It's basically end now, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, and yeah, bye guys.